Hi there, I hope everyone's fine. So today I've come to Paris Hill Escape um, in the north of North Wales and my goal for this long weekend is to try out and climb uh, Rock Atrocity which is the 7C test piste put up by Jerry Moffat. I think it's like late 80s or early 90s, I'm not sure, I'll have to check it out. Um, the good thing about it is that it's really basic, it's a piece of history and if it goes then it means that I can try the lower start which is uh, 70 plus uh, V10 and it has even a 6 start that is V11 so I'm quite excited to try out the moves uh, let's see how it goes Before pulling on Rockatrocity, I warmed up on the moves of Paracelos Regina, which is a 7A block that climbs on good holes through the lip of the cave. This problem proved to be quite tricky as despite it having good holds, you have to know where the sweet spots are. It went after a few attempts. Next up was Rock Atrocity, the main problem I wanted to try on this trip. This consists of a feast of drilled on crimps on which you have to pull for your life and a series of poor polished footholds that are a core test piece. After a quick hold inspection and multiple hours binge watching every YouTube video ever made about this climb, I went for the sought after flash drive. Once the flashbone brought me back down to earth, I started trying out the different moves from the start to the end. First impressions were not really good as I felt that every move was quite at the limit and it didn't take me long until I started doubting myself. To be fair, despite the handholds being in good condition, a lot of the footholds were wet and not usable. However, in the back of my mind, I could see how this would only limit myself up to a certain extent. Even if some of the footholds were not usable, this wouldn't be a problem as long as I could pull harder on the handholds. It didn't take me long to realize that I wasn't going to send the problem on my first day, so I tried to figure out how to finish off the climb instead. The plan for the second day was to do one move at a time from the finish. This way I would make sure that I learned the beta really well so it would be easier to remember what to do in case I made it to the start. Well that was the plan, however I got stuck at the end again and I didn't make any progress other than putting some miles down in the climb. Despite the weather forecast being pretty grim for the three days we planned to stay in North Wales, there was a little window on our second day so we packed our pads and headed off to Snowdonia. 
We literally looked up the quickest drying cracks in North Wales, so we ended up on the hunt for a crack called Lily Savage in the Ogwen Valley. The views here were way better than in Paris Escape, so we thought that the drive had already been worth it. The approach to the boulders though got a bit more complicated than we had anticipated. It was still drizzling at times and I almost dropped my camera gear in one of those streams which briefly stopped my heart. After a long approach we finally found the boulders but unsurprisingly they were still wet patches. All I can do was have a go at one of the lines but unfortunately it wasn't in condition. This put an end to our second day. So got it. Okay. On the third day we came back to Paracelis, where we had a go at a couple of blocks in an area close to the main cave. First off was this V5 block called Breck Road, which turned out to be a really fiddly block as it is quite body position dependent and not obvious to climb. I definitely rate the problem, although I am unsure of whether it gets many repeats as it isn't in the main cave. Next to it there is another problem which links up with Breck Road but although it seemed fairly straightforward, I didn't get very far. Back in the cave I briefly tried rock atrocity again, however I had come to the realization that I wasn't going to send the climb on this trip. So I quickly moved on to try Paracilla's roof extension that allegedly climbs at 7B or V8 but it didn't feel much harder than the shorter version. So I wonder if I climbed the wrong line or if it's a really soft one for the grade. There was one more line we got to try before leaving and that was Leap Service, a 7A plus block that proved to be much better than it looked. After falling a bunch of times and finding the block mega hard, I finally found a beta that worked for me, sticking the right foot out that allowed me to get to the higher creams before the top jog. Definitely a much better climb than the extension of Paracelis Roof. Anyway, I will hopefully come back to the case stronger later this year and get Rocketricity down. Now it's time to reassess and start a new training cycle. Please like, comment and subscribe if you'd like to support my channel. See you guys soon.